Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, part one. I shall wait a couple minutes to see if anybody hops in. Everybody hit that like button, subscribe if you like. Be a member if you'd like. The link is in the description down below. That's all right. Hey, what's up, Philip? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm going to hang out here for a minute and let a couple people join in, Philip. But we got a horror today. Philip, how far did you get in um, the side order DLC? How what floor did you get to? Yep. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Floor 23. Wow, that's pretty good, Philip. That's real good. Nice. Almost beating it. I'll give it till five after eight and then I'll start. Team guitar one. I don't know, Philip. They haven't done the, uh, they just finished it. I don't think they have the results out yet. All right, one more minute. All right, guys, let's start her up. Bandai Namco end user license agreement.
let's see if I can get a uh, a partner, guys. Oh, so you have to literally know the person that you're going to um, invite. So I'll go solo then. Here we go. I might need to turn it up here. Man of Medan. Uh-oh, they're bringing in the bodies. Post-World War II. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charm. What's up, Squid? Welcome, welcome. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? It looks like a fish. Your Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? 
Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Five? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let Keyboard is going to win, you think? To get back. Team keyboard guitar is gonna win. Gotta wait for those results. Yo, what's up, Spider? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Are those the bodies? Oh yeah, they are. Uh-oh, what's that? It's more bodies with the flags.
Explore the ship and find a way out of the sick bay. Okay, is this a dead end? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here. Already. What's up, Philip Nova and Squid? What's up, Spider? What the hell is going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Wait. How did I how was I supposed to do that? What the hell? Oh, a little kid or something. That? Welcome, Elir is 64 Goofy. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Another body, dang, they're popping out everywhere. Fubar and that song.
your guy doesn't move very well, it moves real slow. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Something's watching us. Hold L, you walk faster. All right, that works. What was that? Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Yeah, this is a totally different game. It's a horror, Philip. It's one where you pick, uh, like, what happens, and you kind of try to keep everybody alive. Oh, what is this? I tried to kill him. It's giving me a heart attack. On a big ship. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Uh-oh, looks like a guy with multiple arms. Oh boy, we're print we're getting out the uh, cross. Oh, jumping off the ship into the little lifeboat. Oh, dear. 
Won't you spare me over to another hill? Oh wow, this is the beginning. Nice. That must be the man of Medan right there. I'm playing this on the Switch. E Elir 64. Hello, and welcome to my repository. Is that how they used to do it back in the day? They put the I candles the like that, you walk with it? The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still. None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. So we'll talk again pictures. soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to of the account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Here we go. Present day. Witty Brad, Alex's brother, Innocent.
Motivated Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water's diving. And maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people or whatever. But shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me, I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically, just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shock. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. So these two are brothers. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of the big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Yeah, totally, all the time. Let's lie to them, say we do it, we've dove new. all the uh, time. Nope, not new. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyway? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're 
it's selling, I'm buying. And we are off. Just like that. I'm puking. Or this guy's puking. Yeah. You uh wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. We're never so sure we'd be here. Yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Oh, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Almost got the gear, good to go. Hmm. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules, I get it. But well, what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool, just holler at us when you're ready. doesn't look kosher. Let's go check on the brother. Wait, how do I get down there? Here we go. Wait, that's not the right one. Do you know how to use that? Uh... No, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. How do I, there we go. Huh. What am I 
looking at here? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Did more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey, back. Whoops. All right, let's get the show on the road. What are we doing? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. Come on now, let's you know just what? dive. I can't stop you. Let's get down just there and see this plane. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble.
है Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. That was a choice oh, right you? there. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Let's get down there. Let's see what's happening down there. Underwater view. Oh, a shark. So dark down there. This part might be hard to see on my stream. Sorry about that, guys. Getting a computer set up. We just bought the graphics card. Yeah, this will be hard to see for you guys. Sorry about that. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin. Boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. You know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. She moves a little faster than the guy.
You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your vacation. Watch me. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. It doesn't mix well with high seas. That's how accidents happen. Roger that. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I really wanted to go on that dive. Are you close with your brother? Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game, set, match. Uh-huh. Here we go. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. Everybody hit that like button, subscribe if you like, be a member if you'd like, the link is in the description down below. Here, you see this? 
Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Uh-oh, he was being smart to that guy. Oh, here we go, back diving. Hard to see, probably, guys. But there is a sh a uh, plane, looks like. I can barely see it, guys. There's a hand in there. Skull in there. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. The turret. We can get in through there. Missing lifeboat, guys. So somebody got away. Dead body. Big bullet. Bullet hole. All down the fuselage. Rat's gonna flip when he sees this.
Check it out. scared me holy crap big eel came out at me holy cow guys pilot and co-pilot gotta be plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish It's falling. Oh, shark. Oh, God, Alex. Whoa. It's a great big shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then. I didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time. The right time? I, I don't... I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. He's proposing underwater. How ridiculous is this? Will you marry me? You're kidding me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come on, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. <sighs> Alex, I, I just... Uh, it's bad timing, I, I know. It was terrible timing. I, I'm sorry. It was so no, stupid. No, no, stop. Please, hurt. don't. Don't apologize. I, I just need time to think about this. Like, you know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, another boat left. Wow. Is there anybody left up there? Julia, we gotta decompress here. Oh my gosh, what's going on? What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We the boat blew up. Come here. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. 
How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. Oh well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright stubborn she appears somewhat immune to conrad's charms so far at least let me reassure you you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on and some i think they may regret How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? Alex, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julia, what does that mean? Well, we almost just got ourselves killed, and then suddenly out of nowhere, you pop the question. Okay, I got you. But, uh, I guess I st still don't really understand. If it wasn't such a... Uh, intense situation. Would your answer have been any different? I think so. Yeah, I, I, th I think I just, I got surprised, and I'm so sorry I ruined it. No, you didn't. I'm the one who's sorry. I thought that was it. The end of a relationship. I love you, Alex. You know that, right? Of course. I love you, too. Uh... Where's everybody else? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So... Which one is, uh... You know, where the magic is? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. 
Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, Vixen. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's, uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders. Yo, what's up, guys? Space Void? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. Let's hear the ghost kind of story. Up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true, and it happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. 
As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Let's move. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Yeah. Marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Dang, they have jump scares in this game. Nice one, Squire. That's the second one. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10 <laughs> 4, good buddy. And I'm out. Uh-oh, it's thunder and lightning. Better get off the water. Oh, what the heck was that? What the heck is this? <clears throat> oh, wrong button. Crap. Wow, they're kidnapping us, guys. Was that the fisherman? Yeah, it was the fisherman, I think. Yeah, it is.
We're all ungagged except for one of us. Here we go. Now all of us are ungagged. Julian, you okay? I think so. Let's investigate. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. That's quick, Nobody man. Those buttons come up so quick. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Uh-oh, got the knife. Slow down. Easy. I'll say nothing. Yeah, right. They got out of the cuffs. Yeah, right. They just somehow had something to get into the cuffs. Sure. But I guess it's a story. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Conrad got hit a couple times. Julia back? Maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay. 
They're coming. So they're like pirates, then these, these, uh, fishermen are like pirates. They're wanting money for, uh, the hostages. for it guys I totally missed that somehow. I pressed You're B. Stupid. Darn it. Sorry about that, guys. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Well, that didn't work very well. I don't know how to do that breathing one very well, though. I, I had it in the beginning, and I didn't really understand it. You have to press B, but I thought you pressed B during the uh, breaths. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... Manchurian goo? Shut your mouth. You 
Nous sommes du mort. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything, Kishi. And there be consequences. Get him. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Wow, those come up really quick. Holy cow. Do you get that? Don't you? Job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, yeah. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Man, the rough waters. Holy cow. Oh, here we are up against the big boat. Oh, a dead body. Oh boy. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. 
The Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, all that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. It's a big boat. No thanks. Very big boat. Place is a floating death trap. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Very dark. Hard to see pry for you guys. Ah, 
Watson, oh, you're in force, you see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Yeah, these parts are probably hard to see. Sorry, guys. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Place. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man, this whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape, didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. This was ripped off. I'm really scared. I think Team Guitar will win. Did the results come out yet, Philip? They might have came out already. This part's really dark. Real, real creepy.
get out of this dark part? Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Shit, uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Nice, let's get out of here, guys. Tomorrow, Splatoon 3. Tomorrow is... Oh, I... I didn't replace it on an accident. Crap. Oh, wait. Ugh, I screwed that up again. Man, I keep screwing that up. It's like I don't know how to do that one right. Are we safe now? We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back. I made a wrong decision to too. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Shit. You're right. should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Says secret found.
God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Whoa. Beds? Lots of them. Where did everyone go? Oh, this is nice. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hole for a big surprise party. I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? I guess this is mine. Oh, that told the future. Premonition unlocked and the offering? Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. Yeah, I can't count. Such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Okay. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Dang, can I get over there? I think that's a picture right there, ain't it? Oh, maybe not. been here before Alex have you been leading us in circles whoa soup du jour mademoiselle as if you know your way around the kitchen well you know, if we were going to get married, I might have shared some of my culinary skills with you, but... Just stop. Team Drums won, Philip. Wow, that's a first. Nice. Cool. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we got to go through here. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! Right, Eva, get out of sure Come on. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? Get over here. Come on. Team keyboard win? Oh, team keyboard. Well, in that case, drums did not win. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that. But do the ghosts know that? Listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Look at this one. Look 
for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's hey, Squid, welcome, show. welcome. Wow, jump scares. What? What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get to this. No time for this. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Why so spick and span? no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Next time, Cry will win the next Splatfest. Maybe. Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? Why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! I 
know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Stop. Come on. It's hard to see it's so dark. It's dark for me. Place is cursed. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Mère, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Was it down?
Okay, where do I go here? Can't go that way. Can't be a good sign. Find myself a knife. Oh, Jesus, what happened down here? Whoops, I did the wrong, the same one. Hey, what's up, Josue? Welcome, welcome. Okay, for that door handle. I already did that. Must have to go this way.
Can I go or what? Back. so dark you can't tell uh, where there's another pathway or not I don't think there's another pathway over there Is that a wall? There we go. Oops.
hearing. They're close. Maybe they're through here. Need something to help me get up there. Alex? Julia? Hello? Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. Some sort of altercation. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no!
Whoa, what did I just do? Okay, so it will let me um, start from that spot. Okay, guys, I think I am all set for today. I think that will be all for today, guys. And I will play this again on um, Wednesday and Sundays. I'll play this. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks, Philip. Thanks, Josue, if you're still there. And Spider, if you're still there. Thanks. Yeah, I'm streaming uh, Splatoon tomorrow, Philip. Alrighty, everybody. I shall see you later.